On the pole, that's going to be the 7 of Tyson Partridge to the outside. One of the two Valkyrie racing drivers, that is the 82 of Joel Tigges. Row two to the inside, that is scheduled to be Zeke Kilgardner. Looks like he's uh, stacking the back. So that's going to be the 66 of Mike Vondrak to the outside. That is a three from Audubon. Wahoo! Mike Albertson. Brandon Red Munson will be inside of row number three with Mike Nichols, last week's feature winner, to his outside. And then you have Joe Merrill and Zeke Hillgardner rounding out the field. We are stock car racing! It is going to be Joel Tickets with the early advantage. It is going to be Wahoo Mike Albertson and Tyson Partridge side by side. Von Drack and Nichols also side by side. Oh, now Nichols going to the high side. He, oh, we're three wide. We've got Nichols flying Von Drack, and you got Partridge to meet in the middle for just a little bit. As lap number one finishes up, though, it is Tigges, Albertson, Partridge, Nichols, and Cody Hillgardner, it looks like. Hmm. Didn't think Cody Hillgardner was supposed to be in this one, unless that is Red Munson driving that car, I'll bet you. I'll have to find out for sure, but I'm pretty sure that is probably Red Munson driving Cody Hillgardner's car. Either way, they're battling side by side for fifth and sixth right now between him and Von Drack. But up front, it is all Joel Tigges. Joel Tigges holding a smooth line through three and four down the front stretch, back into one and two. Mike Albertson going for the whip as he's trying to catch up to that car. Mike Nichols sitting in third. Tyson Partridge, though, looked to the inside there for just a moment. And Von Drack inside of Red Munson just for a moment. Now everything's going to shake out amongst the top five as we're halfway home, four down, four to go. Last week, both Valkyrie racing cars looking very, very fast. Unfortunately, both having separate issues, taking both of them out. But right now, Joel Tigges is looking absolutely smooth like Billy D. Williams as he's going to come out of turn four, fired off down the front stretch. Two laps to go for the driver out of Carroll. Albertson, Nichols, Von Rack now to the inside of Partridge. That's a battle for fourth and fifth right there. Give forth the Vondrak. But as the white flag comes out, it is all Tigges. Joel Tigges looking really, really good as he comes through three and four. He is going to take the easy heat race win. It's Joel Tigges, Mike Albertson. Mike Nichols, Mike Vondrak, and Tyson Partridge, second, third, and fourth, all Mikes. Figure that one out. So Valkyrie Racing gets their first heat race win. We'll see if the other car can do the same thing here in just a moment. I'll tell you, Kimson doesn't quite know it yet because he hasn't been up here during the actual races, but we're spoiled up here when the boss man from Advantage Racing TV comes up. We got a monitor to watch the action on, the close-up action and everything, man. We are just spoiled up here. You know who else is spoiled? Y'all are because we're stock car racing again. And it's going to be Chuck Madden Jr. to the early advantage. Mike Stapleton goes from the low side to the high side trying to get around Trey Klein. He does it. Now he's going after the 2X of Madden. Here comes Heidelbaugh. Remember, Micaiah Heidelbaugh last year. Or sorry, yeah. Yeah, it's Heidelbaugh. Um, him and Mike Stapleton had a run-in, which involved Heidelbaugh throwing his steering wheel at Stapleton. So we'll see if uh, tempers have calmed down in the offseason, if they can behave themselves. Chuck Madden Jr. still with the lead. Mike Stapleton looking to the inside. Can't quite get her done, though. 
It is Madden, Stapleton, Heidelbaugh, Klein, and Blessington, your top five right now. Once again, Stapleton, he is sticking the Smithfield 10 down to the inside, but once again, Chuck Madden Jr., better bite coming off the higher groove. Manages to get away from him. Makaya Heidelbaugh just trying to stay in contact with the lead two. As Stapleton's gonna drive her in deep down to the inside, gets side by side once again. Madden able to snooker him coming out of four. We're halfway. And Mike Stapleton once again trying to get past the two XMN. This time he's at his quarter, at his door. They're side by side going down to three and four. The Stapleton crowd's right in front of the stands and they're rocking new leader Stapleton. Now Mike Stapleton goes from the hunter to the hunted as Madden's gonna adjust his line and try and get back by him. Micaiah Hildebaugh, don't forget about him sitting there in third. He's sneaky. If anything happens to these two, he could definitely pounce. But right now it is all Stapleton as uh, two laps to go. Stapleton, Madden, Heidelbaugh, Klein, and Blessington, your top five. Now, oh, looks like Blessington was gonna try to look to the inside of Klein. Klein shut the door on him. White flag out this time by. Three eighths of a mile around the Crawford County Speedway. Everybody smooth as silk through one and two. Firing off down the back stretch. Coming out three and four, Mike Stapleton wins heat number two. It is Chuck Madden Jr. second, Micaiah Heidelbaugh third, fourth to the double OK of Trey Klein and the 92B of Flying Brian Blessington rounds out the top five. No surprise whatsoever, but uh, I'm sure Dugan might have an idea. Guess who's checking in from his Barca lounger? <laughs> I'm getting a thumbs up. From Columbus, Nebraska, that is Jimmy Scott, the round mound of sound, checking in on Advantage Racing TV. And thank you for the compliment there, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Dugan, he says, we're sounding good. He didn't say you look good, but he says we're sounding good. And we're also modified racing as it's going to be Alex Reitz off to the early advantage. Jeff Stevens, Trey Klein side by side. Now it's going to be Stevens on the high, scary side, as Kempson would say. And he's going to go around new leader on lap number one. Jeff Stevens, Alex Reitz, Craig Reitz, Jim Teese, and Shane DeMay. Jeff Stevens already starting to pull away from Alex Reitz. That GRT chassis absolutely looking awesome. As they're already coming down to the halfway point of the race. Looks like Craig Reitz trying to look to the outside of Jim Tease. Tease trying to get to the back bumper of Alex Reitz. Now Craig's going to switch to the inside as once again Jim Tease trying to look to the inside of the 1AR of Alex Reitz. Now he's going to settle for a little shot in the shorts and he's going to go to the inside. Can't quite hold it though, Alex Reitz. Gonna hang it around the high side and continue on to that second place spot. We've got two laps to go. Troubles for the double OK of Trey Klein as he is called no joy, pulled the pit side. He will be done for the heat race. Hopefully we'll see him back in the feature. White flag coming out for Jeff Stevens though. As this time Jim T is able to get around the one AR of Alex Reitz for second place. Shane DeMay locked onto the back bumper of the one R of Craig Reitz. That's a battle for fourth and fifth. But as they come out of turn four, it's gonna be Jeff Stevens, your heat race winner. Jim T second, Alex Reitz and Craig Reitz three and four, Shane DeMay five. So a little birdie told me, uh, Cammy, 
that uh, it's going to be quite a deal in Harlan this weekend as tomorrow the real deal Nick deal turns the big dirty 30 happy birthday Nick and on Sunday their youngest Henry deal is going to turn four I cannot believe that kid is four years old already So a slight change to the originally scheduling, original scheduling of the starting lineup here as Chuck Madden has moved up to the front row here. It doesn't look like Trey Klein made the call in the stock car ranks. So the top shelf moves forward. So that means that Chuck Madden Jr. will be outside row one, Mike Stapleton outside row two, Blessington outside row three, Hildebaugh, or Heidelbaugh, sorry, outside row four, Clucky outside row five, Robinson outside row six, and Josiah Moulds outside row seven. 15 laps the distance, and we are racing. Nearly three wide by the flag stand here in the stock car finale. On the top shelf, it is Madden who takes full advantage of being moved up to the top row. And he will take the early lead, Mike Stapleton, into the runner-up spot with one down. One down on the ground. Madden, Stapleton, Partridge, the right to be a Blessington, and Albertson, your top five, but you've got Mike Nichols right there trying to get his punch, his ticket in the top five as he's to the inside of Wahoo. Wahoo not going to let him have it so quickly, though. They are two deep, two rows back. Blessington has Nichols at his left rear quarter panel that time as he fades back a little bit. And Blessington gets a good run into three and four, going for the number three spot, nosing ahead. Now he slips the grip a little bit, and we're three wide for a podium position. Oh, and there was just a tiny bit of contact between the uh, left rear of Blessington and the right front of Nichols. Nichols got a little bit slideways, and that allows Partridge to get to his outside right now. The battle is on for fourth and fifth. Then you had sixth, seventh, and eighth right behind him, and third right in front of him. What a battle we got. Blessington into third. Nichols trying to dive down to the bottom of the racetrack and catfish around Partridge finally. Blessington trying to track down Stapleton, who is still looking to shorten the gap between him and Madden, who is still out front with Chuck five Madden. down. Chuck Madden Jr., former uh, track champion, multi multiple wins in the hobby stock ranks, jumped up to the stock car. Lane. Oh, and we got a bottleneck. Nichols and Partridge get together just a little bit. That allows Wahoo to get in there. Now Heidelbaugh is in there as well as we go a little bit. Three wide coming out turn four. Three wide back in fifth, and then they now settle into freight train formation through one and two. Madden opening up the lead. Blessington tracking down Stapleton into three and four within a car length of the number 10. Here comes the 92B. Blessington is right there. Stapleton better not look back. In fact, he had better kick that mule into high gear as Blessington. Him and Stapleton, two of the biggest veterans out here. They have a lot of, lot of laps around this track and they know how to get around. So this is gonna be quite the battle for second and third. Meanwhile, the 2X of Madden is walking away. Blessington still right there trying to get around Stapleton and gets a better run off of two this time, almost to the back bumper. Trying to get a run down the hill off of four, and Stapleton pushes up the racetrack a bit, but that's partially because yellow is out. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Looks like Zeke Hillgardner is going to park in a Van Wall Equipment Victory Lane. We will find out in just seven quick laps. Just past halfway.
Into three and four. Green flag back in the air, and Nichols gets a great restart. He is leading at the flag stand, and he will slide across the groove, and Madden will try to turn it back underneath him. Down the back straightaway, side by side for the lead. And Nichols a little squirrely into three and four, but making it work in front of Madden as they're side by side behind him. And oh, trouble in three and four as Josiah molds around in the exit of turn number Oh, and Madden oh. into the outside wall in turn number one. Well, you said that uh, uh, Nichols got a little bit squirrely. There was actually a little bit of contact between him and Madden. And uh, unfortunately, I think it looks like it may have uh, flattened the G60 Hoosier on the right front of the 2X of Madden. And unfortunately, he is going to call no joy, pull a pit side, and be done. Two for two in 2022. Or is there going to be someone else that's going to serve notice that it's not going to be an easy road to hoe to another championship for the 63? We're going to find out in six laps. Green is out, and we are back to racing. Nichols gets a good jump on the rest of the field, but here comes Blessington. Heidelbaugh trying to sneak his way in front of Blessington. Not going to happen. Blessington on the, as you call it, Kempson High scary side is able to get a better run. That's going to put him up in that second place spot. Check it out. Vondrak now up into four. Blessington sets his sights on Nichols with five to go that time by. Heidelbaugh, Von Drack. And, and the gap is shrieking, but a caution is out. Not sure what for, but I did see the caution lights come out. Uh, ah, turn three. A little Jacques Debris. It looks like an exhaust pipe off of one of the cars. Sitting there just on the other side of the cush. Propane Hank from Johnson Propane will welcome them in. I believe that's uh, 19th. Is that yep. Happening? If you want to hear more about what they're doing and hear about how you can contribute down the line to that very worthy cause as we are back to green. It is going to be once again Nichols with the advantage going into one. Heidelbaugh and Blessington side by side. As looks like Zeke Hillgardner is going to call it. No, Oh, no joy. And pull a pit side is Vondrak and Partridge synchronized spinning. And unfortunately, not going to get the cars going. And uh, we are under, you guessed it, a caution. Larry Robinson's rear bumper there flapping in the breeze a little bit on the white 48 car. Ooh, it's a goose. All right. We're going to try the single file. Smithfield stock car feature, scene seven, take 22, action. Oh, I timed that one just about right. We're back to green. And it's going to be, once again, Nichols with the lead. But this time, Heidelbaugh not able to get to the inside of Blessington. Blessington able to get stay right in the tire tracks of Nichols. That is going to put him within striking distance as they're going to come through three and four. It is Nichols, Blessington, and Heidelbaugh, one, two, and three. A slight push for Blessington through three and four, but he is right there trying to get to Nichols. Heidelbaugh there in third. All three throw a blanket over them here with three to go this time at the flag stand. Flying Brian Blessington trying to get to the bottom of Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols on the three-wheel motion, so is Heidelbaugh. Meanwhile, you have Blessington keeping all four tires on the ground, and he is right there. Coming out, too, he gets a good run. He gets right up to the rear bumper. Unfortunately, he gets the door shut in his face for his trouble. Now he's going to set it back up. He's going to catch back up to the rear bumper. This time he's going to get to the quarter panel. Oh, close. As we got two laps to go. Green flag high in the air. Two more voyages of velocity around Crawford County Speedway. Nichols opens up a car length advantage down the back chute. Flying Brian Blessington throwing the kitchen sink at him as we come to the white flag. Heidelbaugh there as well. 
the kitchen sink and the mowing faucets as we got one lap to go. Blessington's gonna set him up here in one and two. And meanwhile, we got Mike Albertson around down here on the front stretch. Are they gonna go ahead and let it go? No, no. we got a loose wheel over in turn number oh, one. Oh, and oh, right into Josiah Molds, who spun. And uh, oh, that's, that's the left rear that they just of, put on Wahoo's car. Yeah. Yikers. Oh. So tough break for Wahoo and for Josiah Molds, but I'm telling you, that's going to put us back to a green, white, checkered. Blessington, I, he might have something for Nichols here. Kempson, you can't say that around two, form, two military guys. They're going to correct you every time. <laughs> did I say Hummer? I believe you did, yeah. My apologies. <laughs> that, is, that is what you're right. That's a Humvee. My bad. All right, so here we go. Two laps to go. Does anybody have anything for Nichols? We're about to find out. Nichols is going to lead him down into one and two. Blessington right in his tire tracks, right on his back bumper. They're going to come out to Blessington catches up to that rear bumper. Is he going to try and set him up to a three and four? He's going to kind of stay there, go a little bit lower, see what's there. Kemp's in. They're going to come out for the white flag. One lap to go. It's time to win it or wear it. Mike Nichols into one and two to the top shelf. Blessington in his tire tracks trying to get there out of one and two. Half a car length is the advantage. Flying Brian Blessington will stay to the top and try to make one last charge. He gets about halfway up the car, but Mike Nichols hangs on to win. What a absolute barn burner. Nichols wins by half a car length over Blessington. You've got Tigus in third, Clucky fourth, and Vondrak rounding out the top five. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, get up and on your feet. Let these drivers know how much you appreciate them. It is your quality truck tire and auto service modifieds. Last week's feature winner and defending track champion, the 15M of Shane DeMay to the inside of row three. Actually looks like he's gonna be starting all on his own as with Jeff Stevens pulling in. That's gonna move Tease up to the outside of row two. And the guy that was scheduled to start outside of DeMay, Trey Klein now to the outside of that second row. So it's gonna be Reitz, Tease, Reitz, Klein, and DeMay. And we are green. Jim Teese on the high side of Alex Reitz. He is going to ring it around the high side, and he is going to take the early advantage. Trey Klein tried to get around Reitz. Unfortunately, they are going to be side by side, glued together. Craig Reitz right behind that pair. Then it is Shane DeMay trying to make some moves happen, but it is Jim Teese leads lap one. Jim Teese looking strong through lap number one as Trey Klein stumbles slightly. They almost go three wide for the third position with the remainder of the field. And into the third spot goes Craig Reitz. Alex Reitz now trying not to fall victim to Shane DeMay as they're still almost three wide for that spot. Try as he might, give Shane DeMay that fourth place spot. Oh, and he is trying for the daily double as he goes around Klein, who uh, jumped the cushion and got a little bit sideways. And Craig Reitz, he got past Klein. Going into three, finally clears Reitz. It is now DeMay into second. He wiped right across the nose of Reitz down the back shoot that time. And now he is into the runner-up position and trying to track down Tease. He stumbles on the cushion, though, and Craig Reitz Craig Reitz says, get back here. I'm not finished with you yet. Alec Re Alex Reitz also trying to go around the top side as he will get fourth again from Klein off of four. 11 laps to go, and Jim Teese is absolutely putting on a clinic in that Teese trucking RZ3 Razor chassis. Meanwhile, you've got the LTI Transportation Lundell Plastics Advantage Racing TV 15M Harris chassis. Going to the whip, trying to catch up to him in, right now in second. Five down and 10 to go. Half a straightaway on Shane DeMay. Craig Reitz getting a good run into three and four, trying to keep DeMay right in his scope. As they go through one and two, once again, it is all Jim Teese. 
Shane DeMay going to the whip. He is starting to pull away ever so slightly from Craig Reese, but cannot make up any ground on that yellow and red. He ain't dead. Mabel the farm boy, Jim T still leads. Halfway down the back straightaway, we'll be halfway home in this feature. Teese continues to lead a spread out freight train around the cushion, which is just over halfway up the banking of the Crawford County Speedway. I gotta wonder, is it a conflict of interest when Advantage Racing TV focuses on the front end of a car they sponsor? <laughs> just out of curiosity. Why do y'all say that now? <laughs> <laughs> So Jim Teese will complete another lap with DeMay, Reitz, and Reitz. And then Trey Klein bringing up fifth place spot. Not sure where all of our modifieds went tonight, but the five we have are very quality cars. Race now, ethical dilemmas later. DeMay still in the runner-up <laughs> spot. Craig Reitz trying to get a couple car lengths eliminated and go after him for the number two position as Teese is coming back to the field a little bit. DeMay trying to track him down has made up about half of that lead with five to go. Yeah, but he's bringing Craig Reitz right along with him too. If uh, things don't change very soon, we're gonna have a three-way battle for the lead, ladies and gentlemen, as once again, Teese goes to the whip. Reitz right up on the back bumper and then jumps a cushion. He gets under the back bumper and demand and then jumps a cushion. We've got three to go. I think he got a better run than he expected into three and four that time. And then he got up into the marbles a little bit. Now he has to try to air him up again on the top side. Trey Klein, unfortunately, will round out the top five at the end of this one as he's in the pit area. Teese trying to hang on with two to go. DeMay looking for anywhere that he can get a little bit more speed than that 23 car. He got half the distance eaten up and now all of a sudden Teese is pulling away again on him. But he's got bigger things to worry about as the white flag comes out. Reitz knocking on the back door of DeMay. The Mapleton farm boy trying to harvest a win here tonight. And the 2021 champion running out of time. Craig greets right there, but into three and off of four. Jim Teese wins at Crawford County. Teese will win. Shane DeMay second. Craig Reitz third. Alex Reitz in fourth.